Okay, myth number one, if you have heart disease, you should eat as little fat as possible. That sounds logical to me. So that's not no. it. What is this about the healthy fats that you're supposed yes, to eat? Yes, absolutely. Oh. So you want to avoid the trans fats, those fats that you find in like packaged and processed foods, but you want the good, the good healthy fat. So monounsaturated fatty acids. So that is like olive oil, avocados, like nuts, seeds, these types of things. And the polyunsaturated fatty acids, which are omega-3. So omega-3, fish, I have some chia seeds. Those actually help to um, make your blood less sticky. So you're less likely to clot, less likely to increase the risk for stroke. And it mm. also helps to lower what we call serum triglycerides, which is a blood fat that leads to atherosclerosis. Any excuse for me to get guacamole, I'm down. Okay, number two. If you have heart disease, you need to take it easy. Well, I, you know what? I could see that one being false because you want mm -hmm. to keep the body moving, right? Absolutely. So I always say, as if you've had any sort of cardiovascular incident, make sure you're cleared for exercise from your, from your doctor. Otherwise, you want to continue to exercise so that you're going to get those release of those good endorphins. You're also going to help to alleviate some stress, which we know can affect um, our cardiovascular health. And it's also just so important to keep that heart nice and strong and also your muscles and joints too. Okay, so stay active. That totally makes sense. Yeah, stay mm -hmm. active. Absolutely. Number three. Heart disease is really a man's problem. Okay, so you know what? I think we're, it's 2022. Heart disease is equal for everyone out there. <laughs> we're definitely equal opportunity now. Heart disease is the leading cause of premature death in women, more so than breast cancer. So that is a striking factor for a lot of women. And as you head into menopause, it gets actually worse for women because estrogen helps to protect your heart. And when that starts to go away, it starts to lead to things like um, depositing more fat around your abdomen, mm. which increases your risk of blood sugar irregulation and diabetes. It also leads towards a tendency to have high cholesterol and high blood pressure. So you want to eat one of those, you know, heart healthy diets, rich in antioxidants and fiber and potassium, even things like, my, uh, like dark chocolate. It's healthy for you, onions and garlic and all of that, that healthy stuff and things like CoQ10, right? That has a strong affinity for your heart muscle. Well, you know, when you're recommending chocolate, women are definitely <laughs> involved in this as well. Now, if you could tell me that beer was healthy, I'm on board, but let's get to number four. <laughs> okay, number four is heart disease only happens to old people. Hmm. Yep. No, definitely. Uh, I've definitely heard that it's open to, uh, to everyone and there's stats to prove yeah. that now. But the thing that I want to point out is that heart disease can affect you at any age, but the choices you make when you're younger will affect your heart later on. So if you're a smoker right now, stop. Mm. If your diet is not great, you need to take those steps to help improve it. If you're not exercising, start to incorporate exercise into your lifestyle because these things are going to carry forward for you for, you know, improved cardiovascular health as you age. Not like fine wine. Our heart does not get better as we age. Our heart gets worse. So we need to take care of it. Yeah, definitely. Though you're relating back to alcohol. So we are <laughs> on the same path here. We've got one final time, uh, one fi uh, t final time for one more tip. What do we got? Okay, so you can't die of a broken heart. <gasps> you can die of a broken heart. It's February. This is Valentine's month. Tell me I about this. I know, I know. So there's a condition, and it's hard for me to always pronounce, Takotsobu cardiomyopathy, so TTC. Okay. So this was something that was discovered in Japan, and it's sort of related to stress or stressful events or the loss of a loved one, which can sort of mimic a cardiovascular event, which can sort of put you into sort of that um, heart attack sort of sensation or feeling and how your cardiovascular system will react to it. So it elicits that stress response that's similar to a heart attack. So unfortunately, there is that possibility. Wow, you can actually die of a broken heart. But hey, if you stay heart healthy, then neither one of you should pass. So then you're all good. Dr. Joyce, always a pleasure chatting with you. Uh, stay healthy. Thank you. Take care.